G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. This is East Avenue, behind me is the park. Just thought I'd have a bit of a look at Wharton's garage. You can still see the remains of Ian Halliday's advertising for his brake drum turning enterprise. Door on the new workshop as it was is still there. Somebody's painted this one over so you can no longer see Wharton's garage written on it. And the Toyota agency has turned into a all things wedding and formal fancy ladies dress shop. So, <coughs> that's what's happened to Wharton's garage, the original. But, as I mentioned in the earlier movie, Wharton's Garage remembered Dad's last business partner Willie Struve had a go at running the service station then he had to go to mechanical repairs build, uh, business and then he set up an auto electrics repairers and the first time Glenn Innes had an auto electrician was probably 1928 1927 when my father started up an armature winding and motor generator repairing segment for the business. So Wharton's Garage was the first auto electrician in town, then Willie Struve was the first professional auto electrician full time doing nothing but auto electrics. And his business is still up and running. And in uh, about 1960 I think, Willie Struve set up this business. Struve's Auto Electric Repairs. His first apprentice in 1961 was a fellow called Terry Winter. As you can see, well, you will directly. Willie Struve's business still has Willie Struve's name on the inside of the workshop. So, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, Wharton's Garage remembered my father was guarantor for Willie Struve's home loan. But Willie was a German and he didn't know what the word guarantor meant. So Willie continued to pay his house repayments and in 1968 when he'd finished paying for the house, the bank manager said to him, well, Willie, I bet Eric will be pleased to see that. And that was when Willie realised just what a big favour my father had done him, giving him a partnership and guaranteeing the house loan. And I guess he'd started to figure out that it wasn't such a nice thing of him to do, do to uh, pull out of the partnership the week Dad's first wife died. So I can remember in 1968, I was seven years old, Willie Struve came up the back of the house in William Street looking for me father. And uh, I had no idea who he was. I called the old man out talked in the backyard for a while and then they came into the house and in the fridge there was a sacred bottle of beer. It was never allowed to be touched or drunk and when they got a new fridge they just moved the bottle of beer to the new door of the new fridge. And the old man picked up this bottle of beer and he says, Willie, would you like a drink of beer? And Willie looked at it and his eyes lit up and he said, oh, Lauenbrau, German beer, where did you get that? And the old man said, well, you gave it to me, Willie when we started the partnership and I didn't know how it was going to turn out so I didn't dare to drink it but would you like a glass of it now? Well I had a glass of 
Willie's German beer and so did Dad and so did Mum and so did Willie. And he must have come down here and told his tradesman, his first apprentice who'd finished his training, Terry Winter, he must have told him what a great bloke Eric Wharton was because from then on when I was a kid I'd come down here with my push bike and I'd get the headlights wired up for, you know, free just about. And uh, in the fullness of the time, I once sold Terry Winter a windmill propeller and he paid for it by rewiring a motor car alternator to go on my windmill. So it's been a friendly relationship. So Terry took his son on as an apprentice, Greg, eight years ago. My son started sweeping the floor here. Seven years ago, he became the apprentice. Today is his first day at work as the proprietor. So it might be a strange way of looking at it, but I consider Wharton's garage through a pup. This is the pup. Leninus Auto Electrics and Air Conditioning. Starters, alternators, diesel injectors, Bosch service, light force, century batteries, solar panels. My plot is to film him when he comes down here to open the place up on his first day as boss. There he is. I was fairly certain he'd beat me to work because his car's here and of course perhaps now that the town's auto electrician himself is running the sun foil on the roof it might make a few more people pay attention. I gotcha. Opening up for your first day. Yeah, I figured you would have been when I saw your car up there with the keys in the usual hiding spot or not. Congratulations, boss. Turn around, let the camera have a look at you. Yeah, that's a boy. Come on. <laughs> Daddy's very proud, very pleased. Someone's got to be. Excellent. A Jaguar. Well, as long as you've only got to work on the electrics. Oh, it's, V8, it? oh, it's, it's not a real Jaguar. No, it's a V8 Chev Jaguar. Well, it'd have to be better than those. Yeah, with the, oh, it, it used to take about 15 hours just to set the valve clearances on those engines, as I recall it, back in the day, when I used to work for Bob Tail at Halliday Toyota, which used to be Wharton's garage. But tell me, are you going to call this Wartons or Wartos? I was going to say Glennon's Auto Electrics. Yeah, I know, but it'll be Wharton's Glennon's Auto Electrics or Wartos, I'm just asking. Is the end going to stay there or does it get pulled off with an apostrophe? Oh, it won't change. It won't change. Well, well, well what it is, is just going to stay the same. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, they will, they will. I, I, I might assist that project. 
warbles on a lot to YouTube. Daddy's very proud. Wharton's garage is rebooted. Ciao.